Welcome to the 7 Minutes Sting, a series about the Australian stingrays and the women who will make it great. I'm Mike Neal, and I'm glad you're here. Now today I'm joined by Hannah Shears, a woman who's been known to apologise on the field to people right before taking another aerial catch over their heads. Sorry. <laughs> Hannah, welcome. Hello. Thanks for having me. Well, it's great to have you here, buddy. Great to have you here. Now, can you tell me about your journey to the Sting Race? Like, uh, do you know someone who's been on a Sting Race team before? Or like, if you followed along the Worlds campaign, how did you get here, mate? Yeah, wow. Um, My journey onto the Sting Race. So, probably started, like, the first time I really picked up the disc was at a local beach um, league. <laughs> um, so, I played a beach league a couple of years in a row which was a lot of fun, super hard work on the sand. Um, so yeah, that's where my love love of ultimate started to grow and yeah. got um, dragged along to a, to try a grass league out, which was such a contrast to beach. It was structures and strategy and <laughs> um, compared to all the chaos of beach and sand flying everywhere. Yeah, whole new world. Definitely. Um, yeah, and then I guess each little taster I got, I just – became more hungry and um I think ultimate in Tassie is it's a very small community and everyone kind of knows each other um and it's yeah my first kind of exposure to mainland ultimate was uh playing under 22s mm. and that was a bit of a, a bit of an eye opener I was playing on a team with people that are all the same age as you which is really cool um yep. really cool developing process for me um and yeah just playing competitively I was like whoa this is this is a whole nother level um oh. <laughs> so I wasn't really aware of how big ultimate was I think until I stepped on the mainland onto a field there yes you thought um, it was just 30 meter, 30 meters square on some sand at one point yeah exactly it continued to grow for you okay yeah um there was a, a stingray that moved down to Tassie um the former stingray and meeting her and becoming friends with her was um I didn't really know much about the stingrays and just talking to her made me realize that this Australian team was so much more than just going away and playing a playing a tournament in another country it was this whole kind of journey from making it onto the team um gelling with the team and then the lifelong friends and memories she she carried with her was so inspiring and seeing her run around the field with her green and gold jersey on I was like wow that would that would be pretty cool um so she she was super supportive and encouraging and yeah kind of a real driving factor in me um attending the selection camp and and then here we are yeah I mean can you tell me just a brief impression of the camp? Like, what was that like then, where it was very competitive to get on? Like, tell me about that. That, that was amazing. That was, I remember arriving and just seeing all these people that, as a Tasmanian, I was like, oh, my goodness. So many people of all the same age. And I remember standing there on the field, warming up, over 100 people all throwing discs and just that sound of that plastic yeah. in your hand or... It was just one of those memories that would have stayed with me. Um, that yeah, just that nervousness, but also super excited. So visceral, the the, the repeated cacophonous yeah, sucking, surrounded sucking before yeah. the first session. Wow, what a great image! And so, and then you just got on the team. What a, what a hero! <laughs> well, no worries, Anna Shears, get on the team. And so, what's it been like since you have been selected? <laughs> well, it's. We've only, since election, like we've only spent two whole days together mm. in January and yeah, it feels like we've we've known each other for so much longer. We've had our regular Sunday meetings. Um, we have a throwing competition going at the moment. So we have all these little connections building up around the team and it's just being part of a, such a supportive group of girls. I've never played on a women's team before in any sport or frisbee um it's always mixed down here um yeah it's just really really exciting this is exciting it's exciting to hear you talk about it hannah uh <laughs> it seems new and wonderful um okay so 
let me just – I've got two quick ones to get to in the last two minutes. Uh, Hannah, how good are you at tennis? Um, I, I used to play a bit. Now I'm more of a social hit and a bit of coaching on the side. Are you telling me real good? Oh, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, sure. Okay, fine. Um, so back to Frizz, minute and a half. We're on the eve of the Stingrays invite. Uh, what do you expect it's going to be like? Oh, I think, yeah, since the last time we've all been on the field together in January, it's been, what, a couple months since then. And I think after that camp, the energies, we were up here and, like, slowly life has kind of not taken back over, but it's crept back in. Mm. But I think, like, last Sunday we had our meeting and you could just feel the, the kind of sense of anticipation and the energy levels were building up again. And, um, yeah, I think there's going to be so much energy um, on Saturday morning and yeah. so excited to be with all the girls and feel the intensity and, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be pretty crazy. I think the other teams better watch out. Yeah. I know what hits them. Yeah, and these are other teams that you've never played against. You, you don't know who the club teams in Australia are and no, right. club teams coming for us to play one after the other. But yep. they, better, they better watch out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Hannah. You're coming. You are coming and the Stingrays are coming. Um, just give me like one more word on the sense of this camp. I think the tournament's such a great, such a great way for us to really come together, to really have that experience in a tournament situation under pressure. Um, yeah, just bringing it all together, really. All the, the last few weeks of our mental strength, our strength and conditioning, our individual national season lead-ups. Yeah, it's going to be cool to see it all come together and play the team again. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, it just sounds very good when you say it like that. Great work. Thanks for coming on the 7 Minutes Sting. I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, mate.